First, if you've not already, send in a quote form through the Takai suiting website. Once you receive a response, a deposit invoice, and make a deposit, we'll continue with preparing your commission. In the following sections, we'll cover what you need to do to complete the front end of the commission process. Section 1, duct tape dummy. Section 2, head measurements. Section 3, shoes and hand measurements. Section 4, final checklist. Section 1, duct tape dummy. Use caution while making the duct tape dummy. Drink plenty of water, but in small portions, since you'll be stuck in tape for a long time. What you'll need. Four to six rolls of duct tape, painter's coveralls, paper towels, scissors, bandage scissors, optional, good if you have them, permanent marker, arm supports, two or more trustworthy friends, and a cool working space. Making the dummy requires tearing off hundreds of approximately one foot sections of tape, so it's a good idea to have one helper tearing while the other places the strips. When placing the duct tape, try to make a crisscross pattern, so in essence you're weaving the tape. This creates a much stronger hold. Start by taping the groin and pelvis. Think of it like making duct tape briefs. Make sure the duct tape is close to the body but not too tight. The dummy needs to be an accurate representation of your body for your suit to fit properly. Once the pelvis is done, work down the legs. The upper body lets off the most heat, so saving it for last helps keep you cool. After working halfway up the torso, make suspenders over the shoulders, then work on the armpits and arms. It's important that the duct tape dummy is close to the armpits, so keep your arms straight out and make sure the tape is placed so the bend at the armpit isn't smoothed. This is where arm supports come in really handy. By now, it's likely the coveralls have shortened from the tape. To solve this, you can extend the cuffs of the arms, legs, and neck with paper towels. It's important to make sure that the duct tape dummy extends to the wrists, ankles, and neck. After the first layer of duct tape is placed, start work on the second. The duct tape dummy will need two layers of tape to properly keep its shape. Once taping is finished, it's time to place the proper markings on the duct tape dummy before cutting. On the chest, write the character name, then directly underneath, your real name. Draw lines that follow the red outline on the sides. This is where you'll cut later. On top of the lines you just drew, draw registration marks like this. On the back, in the center, at belt height, place an X with a circle around it. This is approximately where your tail will be. Now you can cut along the lines drawn earlier. Make sure to leave the duct tape dummy out and open overnight so it can dry before shipping. Section 2. Head Measurements To ensure your head fits properly, we need a few head measurements. Measurements can be made using either a flexible measuring tape or by measuring with a string and then measuring the length of the string. Please use inches for the units. One horizontal circumference of head at the widest section, two, vertical circumference of head, three, distance between pupils, four, distance from eyes to chin, and five, distance from nose to chin. Write, or preferably, type and print these measurements to be shipped with the duct tape dummy. Section three, shoes, and hand tracing. Our general use feet paws are built around standard shoes. We ask that you ship us a new pair of shoes for use in your paws. When choosing shoes, we recommend a comfortable, non-high top tennis shoe. Keep in mind that you'll be on your feet for many hours at a time, 
and your performance can be impacted by the comfort of your shoes. To prepare your shoes for shipping, tie the shoes so that they can be slipped on and off with relative ease, but are still comfortable to walk in and don't slip off on their own. As a reminder, we will not accept used shoes. To make a hand tracing, spread out your fingers over a piece of paper as wide as possible. Then trace around your hand and down your wrist. Make sure to trace closely. Final checklist. Check that your duct tape dummy is dry and free of odor. Check to make sure you have all head measurements. Check the fit of your shoes to make sure they are still comfortable but slip off when desired. Check to make sure you have accurately traced your hand. Packing list. Duct tape dummy. Head measurement sheet. Shoes and hand tracing. Once you have all of these items collected, please contact us to arrange shipping. The above must be completed before work can begin. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to bringing your character to life.